This is Tomo News for Wednesday, June 28th. Chinese woman throws coins into plane engine for good luck. A woman delayed a Shanghai flight for several hours after she had the Ozo Chinese idea of tossing coins into the airplane's engine for good luck. According to a passenger, the 80-year-old woman tossed nine coins at the engine of China Southern Airlines flight CZ380 while she was boarding on the tarmac. Unfortunately, one of the coins found its way into the engine. Officials were forced to evacuate almost 150 passengers from the flight bound for Guangzhou while the maintenance crew checked for any damage to the engine. The old woman who was traveling with family was detained by police. She told authorities she was praying for a safe flight. What's that old Chinese proverb about throwing money in engines? Oh yeah, there isn't one. Losing your arm isn't enough to get you out of a fine. An engineer in India is learning the hard way that even after you've been mauled by crocodiles trying to rescue your pet, the government will still come after you for a payout. 26-year-old Mudit Danwat was visiting a temple in a forest area in Bangalore with a friend and his two dogs one day when the dogs decided to jump into a lake. Danwat followed them into the water, trying to get them out. But as soon as he entered the lake, a crocodile surfaced, climbing down on his left arm and ripping the limb off from below the elbow. Forest department officials rescued Danwat and he was rushed to the hospital for treatment. He survived sans one arm and is expected to be fitted with a prosthetic limb. The dogs are also apparently okay. However, despite all he's been through, forest officials say Don Watt will be fined for entering a restricted area that had warning signs about crocodiles displayed. What do you think? Does Don Watt deserve to be fined after already having lost an arm? Let us know in the comment section below. Mom and daughter sucker punched by a couple of tough customers. This Georgia mom and daughter share an especially striking resemblance these days, walking around with black eyes ever since Eric and Latasha Smith walked away from their Baxley food establishment last Thursday. Regular customers of the family's quick chick chicken stand, the couple was reportedly unhappy with their order of chicken and fries, complaining the meal was cold. Following a heated discussion, the owner, Jeanette Norris, refunded the couple's money, but she says they still weren't satisfied and began harassing her. When she called the cops, Latasha Smith started beating her mercilessly. Eric Smith then viciously struck Norris's 15-year-old daughter in the face for coming to her mother's aid. The two then fled the scene and police have yet to track them down. When they are eventually located, the couple faces several felony warrants. Jeanette Norris needs surgery for her broken nose and her daughter is probably traumatized, but the two are expected to be okay. NASA calls out Gwyneth Paltrow for promoting bogus wares. Actress Gwyneth Paltrow is at it again with her hippy-dippy company, Goop, whose mission is to curate products offering wellness and healing powers. This past week, the company started promoting these super cool wearable stickers called Body Vibes, which are supposedly pre-programmed to an ideal energetic frequency, and as a result, will target imbalances, fill in deficiencies, and smooth out physical tension and anxiety. Goop also made claims the stickers are manufactured with the same conductive carbon material NASA uses to line spacesuits so they can monitor an astronaut's vitals during wear. When notified of the claims, NASA said their spacesuits have no carbon material built in whatsoever. Goop later stated the advice and recommendations it offers on its site are not formal endorsements. Hmm. Upon further inspection, Body Vibes claims it was misinformed about the materials by a distributor and regrets not doing the proper due diligence before including the spacesuit claims in its product marketing. This isn't the first time Gwyneth's site has got caught offering questionable advice. In 2015, Goop recommended that women should steam clean their vaginas to rebalance hormones and attain more energy. It turned out, steam cleaning down under is unnecessary and could cause itchiness. When grilled about her knowledge of the wellness products her company espouses by Jimmy Kimmel earlier this month, a laughing yet noticeably flustered Ms. Paltrow admitted, I don't know what the f*** we talk about. Cyber attacks hit Ukraine, then the rest of the world. A massive cyber attack hit computers and servers across the world on Tuesday. It began as an attack on Ukrainian government and business computer systems, but quickly spread across the globe from there. Computers in Romania, the Netherlands, Norway, France, Spain, Britain, and the United States have all been affected. Experts believe the latest attack could be a ransomware virus called Petya, which was hidden in a document sent over email. Petya encrypts and locks down entire hard drives. The hackers are asking for $300 in Bitcoin to unlock computers. As of Tuesday afternoon, 
30 victims had paid the ransom, although it's unclear if they regained access to their machines. The latest attack appears to have made use of hacking tools that were stolen from the U.S.'s National Security Agency and leaked online by the shadow brokers in April. No group has yet claimed responsibility for the attacks.